What a fishing fans, it's your boy Mabber Angler and right now I'm gonna teach you how to tune or refurbish your hollow body frogs! Alright, so here's how to fine tune or refurbish your hollow body frog. So as you can see here, I found a hollow body frog lying around. I have not used this ever since I started snakehead fishing. And if you notice, on the bottom, there are no weights, so there's no way I can cast this far using my setup, but that's gonna change. You will be needing the following, a pre-made assist cord. If you do not have an assist cord, you can make a makeshift one using used braids, get probably a foot long, fold it around four times, and then twist it using a counterweight. Tie it on the end and apply shoe glue on it so it becomes stiff. You also need an extra double hook, a heat sleeve, tin tape for additional weight, a pair of pliers, a pair of scissors, a lighter, shoe glue, a heavy duty braided line. Let's get started! Step 1. Remove the hook. You can remove the hook either by hand or you can use a pair of pliers for this. Next, let's now prep the hook. Place the assist hook at the bottom of the hook. Using a thinner piece of string, go ahead and tie the assist cord to the shank of the double hook. It should look something like this. Next, insert the loop that you made with the assist cord through the eye of the hook. This prevents the hook from tilting upwards inside the frog's body. Tying the assist cord at the bottom of the hook prevents closing the gap between the barb and the shank. Don't forget to put a few drops of shoe glue to make the wraps permanent. Next, we add the weight. Using your tin tape, go ahead and wrap the tin tape around the shank near the bend of the hook. This makes the frog tilt slightly upward to imitate a natural floating frog. Let's go ahead and insert the heat sleeve. The heat sleeve prevents the weight from sliding up and down the hook shank. Next, using a lighter, heat up the heat sleeve so we can secure it in place. Let's go ahead and put our hook modification inside the frog. If you are indeed using an assist cord, you might need the tool with a small hook to slip the loop out of the frog's nose. Before securing the nose of the frog, make sure that the hook barbs are touching the frog, making it weedless. To secure the nose of the frog, grab a small piece of string and tie the nose securing the assist cord. This makes sure that whenever you try to hook set a fish, the nose won't blow up due to the stress. Also, this ensures that no water seeps inside the frog through the nose. To make it even more watertight, put a few drops of shoe glue. Trim the tag ends. Put a few drops of shoe glue at where the hook shank sticks out the belly of the frog. This prevents the water from seeping in from the belly. As you've noticed, this is one of those old school frogs who uses lead tubes for weights, hence the groove at the belly of the frog. If you're using one of those modern hollow body frogs, most likely you'll be using pill weights instead of tube weights. If that's the case, you need to put a few drops of shoe glue in that pill weight to make it secure and watertight, and then poke the hole near the butt of the frog. In this case, the frog already has a hole, so I did not poke another one. Now, the final test. Does it float? Yes, it does. Yeah, boy! Alright, so that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this week's video regarding our tutorials or how to tune or refurbish 
or hollow body front. If you like this video, check out my other videos. Alright, so once again, I'm your boy Maber Angler. Peace, light lines, till next fishing video. Stay safe everyone.